13 Most Famous Last Words in History 1. Jane Austen Died in 1817, aged 41 I want nothing but death The novelist died of an unknown disease It was very painful and probably was a lymphoma Her final words were recorded by her brother Henry 2. Winston Churchill Died in 1965, aged 90 I'm so bored with it all At 90, Churchill fell into a coma He died in his London home he was speaking to his son-in-law, Christopher Soames. Soames had offered him some champagne. 3. Nathan Hale Died in 1776, aged 21. I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. The young schoolteacher was hanged by the British. Hale tried an espionage mission on Long Island and failed. His final words were probably a quote. He was paraphrasing the popular 18th century play Cato. 4. Cicero, died in 43 BC, aged 63. There is nothing proper about what you are doing, soldier, but do try to kill me properly. The Roman statesman fell victim to the power struggle. When Caesar was killed, Mark Antony sent his men after Cicero. Cicero attempted to flee, but never made it. Confronted by his assassins, he accepted his fate. Cicero even stuck his head out of his litter to make it easier. Five. Marie Antoinette died in 1793, aged 37. Pardon me, sir. I did not do it on purpose. The deposed queen was executed. As she was led to the scaffold, she stepped on a soldier's foot. Her last words were an apology. 6. Joe DiMaggio died in 1999, aged 84. I finally get to see Marilyn again. DiMaggio never forgot his relationship with Marilyn Monroe. He outlived her by 37 years. He had roses delivered to her grave until his death. 7. George Danton died in 1794, aged 34. Show my head to the people, it is well worth seeing. The French revolutionary was executed by his former comrades. He fell out with Robespierre and was sent to the guillotine. Danton's last defiant remark was addressed to the executioner. 8. Napoleon died in 1821, aged 51. France army the head of the army josephine napoleon died in exile of unknown causes his final words were a list of loyalties it ended with the name of his former wife and lover josephine 9. george harrison died in 2001 aged 58. love one another the musician died of lung cancer at paul mccartney's la villa george died in the company of his wife and son ravi shankar and his family were also there there were also two Hare Krishna devotees, chanting verses from the Bhagavad Gita. 10. Thomas Carlyle died in 1881, aged 85. So this is death. Well, the Scottish philosopher died in bed. He was famous for his sense of humor and inquisitive nature. 11. George S. Patton died in 1945, aged 60. This is a hell of a way to die. General Patton led the fight to defeat Nazi Germany but he lived just long enough to see it surrender. Patton was paralyzed in a car crash in December 1945. He succumbed to his injuries on December 20. 12. James French died in 1966, aged about 30. Hey fellas, how about this for a headline for tomorrow's paper, French fries. French was a murderer who killed a random motorist. He asked for the death penalty, but was sentenced to life instead. So he deliberately strangled a fellow inmate. French was executed by electric chair in Oklahoma. 13. Noel Coward died in 1973, aged 73. Good night, my darling. I'll see you tomorrow. The playwright died of heart failure in his Jamaican Firefly estate. His last words were a farewell to his longtime partner.